Hey man, what's going on? I saw on uh, Facebook a guy was asking about how to play punk rock guitar. Well, and you know, it's in a guitar uh, players kind of learning group on Facebook. And some people were not very nice, but that's... <laughs> hey, punk rock is fun, man. What, um, what I would recommend is get it, try some power chords. Let's do some really easy ones. This is called E5. E5 is going to be your fat string. That's an E plus this note. That's a B. So it's open sixth string, the, the fat string, plus second fret this, the fifth string. Hit them together. Then I'm doing eighth notes. I'm just playing ba 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 ba, really steady with my pick. Don't pick really hard. Just lighten up a little bit. It actually sounds really nice when you don't punch your guitar. <laughs> e five. And those are called eighth notes. Eighth notes are kind of like that Ramones feel, that pulsing really steady uh ba 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 you're counting to eight like one two three four five six seven eight only count do it like this one and two and three and four and 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 two and three and four and and that's really great you can use it in metal pop rock and roll all kinds of stuff does eighth note so it's a really important kind of a feel I'm gonna start a metronome just for fun let's see I'm about 130 beats a minute check this out Eventually, you're going to change chords. Uh, so hopefully you got that down. That's called E5. Remember that. It's very easy. A lot of people forget right away. So we got to use our memory. <clears throat> Next, we're going to use the exact same shape. Jump one string over to the fifth string and fourth string. That's called A5. hitting the fifth string and fourth string. And pressing down here. Fourth string, second fret. Hitting two strings. That's called A5. It's really important that you know that. A5. <laughs> and again, we're using eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Yeah. Oh, there goes the pick. Hold the pick like that. You can take your right hand and put it on the bridge. This is the bridge. This Every guitar has a bridge. And you just lay the side of your hand there, roll it forward and relax. So if you're getting tense and falling apart, you got to keep it loose through here. Don't be tense. Just kind of like yoga or something. Relax. Don't hit your strings really hard, just sort of medium or soft. Then go back to your E5. That's pretty cool. Let's, uh, I'm gonna um, do those two chords with a metronome. One, two, ready, go. Yeah, 
see that metronome makes it sound super, you know, together. Most most things we listen to are done with a metronome, or most drummers try to play like a metronome. And uh, just because it's punk rock doesn't mean it's not good. I mean, those guys can play. So let's go one more string over with a D5. So that's on fourth and third strings. Exact same shape. I'm hitting these two strings, fourth and third strings. And I'll go to A5. Actually, A and D sound really good. Even though that may be easy, a lot of people, you know, I think a lot of guitar teachers are going to, um, they're going to assume that you already know that, but we're going to kind of talk about it, about timing and basic power chords, because millions of great songs are right in those three little power chords we just did. I'm going to mess around with them one more minute, two, ready, go. messing around with those basic power chords let's do uh, let's move those shapes up the neck so down here is really great because you got open strings now we move up here I'm going to the fifth fret I'm gonna make an a5 here that's index and ring fingers index is at fifth fret ring is at seventh fret two big strings. That's the sixth and fifth strings. And again, that's A5. Knowing that chord name is a good idea, or just call it an A. Now we're going to take the same shape, jump one string over like this. One string over is a D5, and back to A5. So get good at jumping back and forth. It might take you a little bit of time. A5, D5, watch carefully, E5. If you like that, let me know. We'll do some more stuff like that. Cool, man. And, of course, we're going to move those chords all over the neck. We'll get you there, but just start with that. Make sure you got that steady beat. You're using the right fingers and know the names of those chords, and the rest will be pretty easy, and they'll be really fun. So thanks. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> I can't.